Hi, I'm Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI and Focus AP Calculus series. We're going to take a look at a special document that's been pre prepared for the TI Inspire that's going to give us some graphical insight into understanding why L'Hopital's Rule works. L'Hopital's Rule is a topic on both the AB and BC exams and it appeared on question AB5 in the 2018 AP exams. We're going to call this document a tale of two lines and you're going to see a couple of graphs that cross the x-axis at the same point a comma zero. Now what I'd like you to do is when you look at these graphs first of all let's compare the y values on the green line to the y values on the red line specifically the ratio of those values now, of course, that won't make sense at this crossing point because both of those values will be zero. But for any other point, let's look at those ratios. For example, over here, the green has a y value of one, positive one unit. The red line has a y value of negative two units. So the ratio is one over negative two. Over here, the green line has a y value of negative two units and the red line has a value of positive 4 units. That's negative 2 over 4, which is the same ratio. And over here, we've got a negative 1 half for green and a positive 1 for red. All the ratios are the same. They all reduce to negative 1 half. Now let's compare that to the ratio of the slopes of these two lines. Now my green line is got a slope of negative one half. It's going down one unit for every run of two units in the positive x direction. And my red line is pretty clear. It has a slope of positive one. So the ratio of the slopes of these two lines is negative one half over one. That's interesting. It's exactly the same ratio that we got before. Now here's the punch line these really weren't two straight lines. I'm now zooming out and we can see that what we were really looking at were the graphs of two differentiable functions that had a common x-intercept or zero at this value here. And so what that close-up picture suggests is the ratio of the derivative values up close is the same as the ratio of the function values. So that's really the idea of L'Hopital's rule. It's not a proof, but it really gives us some genuine insight to why that rule makes sense. It's critical, by the way, that those two function graphs cross the x-axis at that point. These ratios will not match up nicely like that for functions crossing at some other point not on the x-axis. What we're seeing here is that differentiable functions behave like linear functions when you look at them up close and that's really what's behind L'Hopital's rule in this case. Well that concludes this video. For more calculus resources like these please see education.ti.com.